What can we learn from top class long jumpers and how they set their takeoffs up? Well, that's going to be the subject matter of this video. I was lucky enough to attend the World Indoor Tour final in Birmingham and some of the world's top long jumpers were competing such as Marquis Dendy and Tajay Gale. So let's take a look at how they set their jumps up in particular paying a lot of attention to the penultimate step and the transition into the takeoff. I've said it many times in previous videos about how important it is to get that rhythm to get a da da from the penultimate to the takeoff. So a very quick repetition of steps into the takeoff. And if you look at the elite jumpers, you can see that they do this, but in slightly different ways. Dendi is probably the fastest in the field together with Tajay Gale. Dendi comes into the board at around 10.8 meters a second, according to the statistics that I have. And sometimes you won't see how he sets the jump up because of the speed that he's coming in at. However, as you can see in this slow motion, he actually drops down and pushes in to the takeoff very, very quickly. And potentially on his longest jump of 828, he did this more. He set more to get more elevation and drive off of the board. Some of the other jumpers, as you're seeing with captions as they're jumping, set more than others. However, virtually all the jumpers perform some form of preparatory step into the board and a lowering of the center of mass, whether that be minimal or more substantial. From my perspective, it's crucial to carry speed through the takeoff. Therefore, you don't want to overly bend the knee at the penultimate step, as that can slow you down. However, what I found through experimentation with my athletes and looking at data and video of elite jumpers is that it's the movement from the penultimate step into the takeoff that's really crucial. It has to be a really active push into the takeoff and that's what I instruct my jumpers. Not all of them I have to add having said that but the more mature ones and the ones that I perceive to be able to benefit from such a takeoff. In a recent previous video we looked at Lee, one of my jumpers, and I analysed her technique when she had a personal best of 604. Well the week after making the video she leapt 6 meters 24 and you can really see the difference in the speed from the penultimate into the takeoff and that's what we have been working on and had been working on in the week prior to the competition. Sometimes it takes time for the jumper to get on top of what's required and to understand the movements and to neurally, mentally be able to move quick enough between the penultimate and the takeoff. Of course it's my mat drills that I've found that I've had the main benefit in terms of teaching the long jumper how to move through those final three steps and from two to one in particular very quickly. So you're seeing some of those mat drills on screen now. It's very important not to overly adjust but as I've said to run through them. However if you want to try the more directed that more deliberate push pull into the takeoff then do set more on the penultimate but drive in to the takeoff so sit down onto the flat foot and then move quickly and by sitting it's only a slight lowering of the center of mass now i do get asked a lot of questions and many times where do i get the mats from so i'm looking into getting some made so that anybody that wants them can contact me directly or via the specific supplier to get hold of them. So do look out for information on my channel and through my other social media about the mats and how you can get hold of them. You may have heard me reference push-pull when I was talking about the penultimate step and that's something that Mike Powell, the current world record holder for the long jump, talked about a long time ago and it's only now that I'm beginning to understand potentially what he meant by that. So that is the movement from the penultimate into the takeoff, a push into the takeoff and by the pull he's referring to the foot I believe coming back onto the board at takeoff. Now I can't see that as being done deliberately unlike the movement from the penultimate into the takeoff because you'd be moving far too quickly to activate a negative foot to pull it back underneath you. Therefore I think that becomes automatic. However, and not wanting to go into too much further detail in this particular video, there are different ways in which you can put your foot onto the board. 
you can press it further out in front of you like Ivana Spanovich does for example or you can pull it quicker under the body as the more faster jumpers do such as Miambo. Well I hope the information in this video will help you better understand takeoff mechanics and how you can improve your takeoff. Do look back at some of my other videos on the channel where I'm looking at the use of mat drills in particular. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this video then do leave them in the section below or through my other social media. It's been a while since I did a product review but coming up soon I'm going to look at this 8 to 8 heated muscle scraper which is great for relieving knots and loosening out soft tissue and helping recover from sore muscles. Do subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be made aware of any new videos when I upload them. And good luck with your training and any competitions you've got coming up. Relap have just launched a new piece of kit. Now this looks like the TX Junior Pros, the pyramids, yellow pyramids, that record the times as the athletes pass them. But what this one does, it actually gives you the command on your marks and sets the athlete off with a bang. So it emits the sounds through a speaker built into it. It gives you a 10 second lead in once you press the set button and then randomly within I think a two and a half second period, the gun will fire through the device to set you off. Now that triggers the system. So it's going to be a very accurate way to measure starts. If you want to find out more, then do get in contact with me. If you like the Jumps Squad merchandise that I often wear in these videos, then do check out the Spring Store. You'll see the products available underneath this video, for example. And I've launched a new backpack rucksack with the Jump Squad logo on it. So do check that out.